So you have a desire to break up with Google permanently. You want to completely remove your Google business profile off the grid. You don't want it to be in any search results or on Google Maps. First things first, let's differentiate between permanently closing down a business and actually completely scraping it off of the Google platform. When you're logged in to your Gmail account and you search for your business, you're gonna get to something that looks like this. You can also get there through business.google.com. Once you're there, in order to find the feature to, let's say, permanently close your location and also to scrape it, it's in the same place. It's right here. You have to hit these three dots that are right next to the profile strength icon. So if we select the three dots, you will see a couple of options here. You're going to hover over to business profile settings. Once you select that, you will see that there's an option here to remove business profile. You're going to select that. Now let's talk about these options. The first is you can stop managing this profile. This simply means that you're going to transfer primary ownership to someone else. That is, if you are the primary owner, and then you'll be able to completely remove it off of your business.google.com uh, account. However, if you want to mark the business as closed, you can select right here. And under hours, you can select permanently closed. That is going to show that your business no longer exists. If you're curious as to what that looks like, I will show it to you on a Google business profile. That was one of my first clients ever when I started my business way, way back when I've managed hundreds upon hundreds of Google business profiles since then. Here's what it looks like when you permanently close a profile. This gentleman had actually retired. It was my first client that ever retired and I permanently closed this profile. What does that mean? That means that if you search specifically for that business, people will see it come up as permanently closed. However, if you just search for, let's say, chiropractor in North Halden, which is the town that he works in, you will see that here, there is no acutesy chiropractic listed, and that's because he's permanently closed. So you will not really be visible at all unless people specifically search for your business. Now, that is the option of permanently closing your business and pointing out to Google that if someone specifically searches for it, mark it as permanently closed. If you wish to completely scrape it offline, what you do is you go back to these three dots right here. Then you select business profile settings. Afterwards, you're going to select remove business profile. And over here, you're going to select this last option, which says remove profile content and managers. This will permanently remove all content added by you and all managers. Once you select that, you can see here that it says it's going to remove all the posts, photos and videos. You and other managers will not be able to recover or manage any profile content. Associated Google Ads campaigns may become inactive and associated websites published using Google Business Profile will be permanently removed. I want to point this out. This does not mean that the website that you created for your business is going to be removed. This is only if you're using the free websites or the paid websites that are allowed through the Google Business Profile page. If you don't have that, you don't have to worry about it. For instance, the page that I'm trying to remove here is actually the nighttime photography page. And if you go to the website, that is actually a part of my business. I do photography on the side. This is part of Promo Ambitions. Once I delete that Google business profile, it's not going to go ahead and delete my entire website. It's just going to delete the Google business profile website if I had created it. If you didn't create one, don't worry about it. Now, this is something that's important to point out because a lot of people don't understand it. First of all, there's a download content option right here. This is an option to export a copy for backup or to use with a service outside of Google of your actual Google business profile, which might be helpful if you ever want to bring it back. Also, this option right here is the question I get the most from clients that are trying to permanently remove themselves offline. They say, why does it say mark your business as permanently closed? to show that it no longer exists if I want to completely scrape it off of the internet. 
The reason is this setting will completely remove all content. But during the process, if you want your page to say permanently closed, then keep this checked on. If you don't want it to show as permanently closed, keep it checked off. Some people think that if you had selected this on and then we click continue, that it will delete our Google business profile completely and we won't have access to it. However, if someone searches for it, it will still come up and say permanently closed. And I am here to tell you definitively that that is not the case. I've had clients that ask me to completely scrape their profiles off the net. And while Google processes it, which may take a couple of days, if you select this, it shows them as permanently closed during that process. So right away, people will see you're permanently closed and eventually you will be completely scraped off the internet. You are off of the Google business profile platform. You are effectively ghosting yourself on the Google business profile platform. If you found this tutorial to be helpful, please let me know in the comment section. And please, if you know someone that has a question about this or can get some help from it, send it along their way. I hope you guys appreciate the time I put into this video and I will see all of you in the next video.